immediate pain relief strategies. If you're suffering a gout flare-up right now, we know how you feel. It's no joke. You're already on your medication trying to stay on top of your uric acid levels, but when that sudden stabbing pain hits, usually in the middle of the night, it's like your body is in full revolt. But don't worry, there are things you can do right now to stop the suffering and relieve pain immediately. Here are some quick relief strategies you can try now. Medications. First off, let's talk medications. If you've got NSAIDs like ibuprofen or naproxen in your medicine cabinet, now's the time to reach for them. These over-the-counter painkillers are the MVPs when it comes to easing that nasty inflammation and bringing down the pain. They're fast-acting and can have you feeling better in just a couple of hours. But, and this is important, avoid aspirin. You may wonder why, but aspirin can actually make your gout worse. It messes with your uric acid levels in a way that can prolong the flare. Now, if you've got a prescription for colchicine, don't hesitate to use it. It's one of the oldest gout treatments out there, and while it doesn't work instantly, it's pretty effective if taken within the first day or so of a flare. Colchicine targets inflammation right at the source, but just keep in mind that it might take a little longer to feel the effects compared to NSAIDs. And if your pain is really out of control, corticosteroids like prednisolone might be your best bet. These are powerful anti-inflammatory medicines that your doctor might give you, but they're usually used for short-term relief since long-term use can come with side effects. They work fast though, and can be a lifesaver when nothing else is cutting it. Ice application. Now let's get into something simple but super effective, ice. You might be tempted to skip this one because it sounds too basic, but an ice pack can make a world of difference. Wrap it in a cloth to protect your skin, then press it against the swollen joint for about 20 to 30 minutes. You can do this several times throughout the day. What's happening is the cold reduces blood flow to the area, which helps bring down the swelling and numbs the pain. It's like hitting the pause button on your gout pain, at least for a little while. Hydration. And don't forget to drink. Staying hydrated is probably one of the easiest and most underrated ways to manage gout. The more water you drink, the more you help your body flush out excess uric acid. Aim for at least 8 to 16 cups of water a day, more if you're active or it's hot out there. And remember to lay off the alcohol, especially beer. Beer is loaded with purines, which can increase your uric acid levels and make a bad situation even worse. So, swap the brew for some water, or even herbal tea, you'll feel less pain. Rest and elevation. Finally, the hardest, but maybe the most important, rest. If you've got a gout flare in your ankle, knee, or toe, it's tempting to try and walk it off. But trust us, that'll only make things worse. You need to get off your feet and elevate that joint. Prop it up on some pillows above your heart level. What this does is help reduce the swelling by letting gravity do its thing. If the flare's in your lower limb, using a cane when you have to move around can take some of the pressure off the painful joint. These strategies can bring some fast relief and help you get through the worst of a gout attack. Always check with your doctor before making any big changes to your medications or treatment plan. But hopefully, these tips get you feeling better in no time. Natural Remedies for Gout Pain Relief now that we've tackled the immediate relief options, let's shift gears and talk about some natural remedies that can work alongside your medication. These aren't miracle cures, but a lot of guys find they help reduce flare-ups and ease pain. Plus, they're all things you can try at home, which is a nice bonus. Cherries and tar cherry juice. Let's start with cherries. Who would have thought a handful of cherries could do so much? There's actual research that shows cherries especially tart cherry juice, can lower uric acid levels and reduce inflammation. It's kind of amazing when you think about it. Studies suggest that drinking about 8 ounces of 100% tart cherry juice every day can keep your gout symptoms at bay. Now we're not talking about cherry-flavored drinks that are loaded with sugar. You need the real deal, 100% juice. Some people even swear by eating fresh or frozen cherries as part of their daily routine. They're tasty and could help you dodge that next painful flare. Ginger. Ginger's another good one. You've probably heard about ginger being great for stomach issues. But did you know it's also a potent anti-inflammatory? 
You can use it a couple of different ways. You can make a ginger compress. Just grate some fresh ginger, boil it in water, let it cool a bit, and then soak a cloth in the mixture. Apply it to your sore joint for about 15 to 30 minutes, and it'll help calm the inflammation. Or, if you'd rather keep it simple, you can brew yourself a nice cup of ginger tea. Either way, you're harnessing ginger's natural powers to help ease the pain. Nettle tea. Here's one you might not have tried, nettle tea. Stinging nettle has been used for centuries to treat all kinds of ailments, including gout. The idea is that nettle helps reduce inflammation, and some people even claim it helps lower uric acid levels. Just steep some dried nettle leaves in hot water, and you've got yourself a soothing tea that might take the edge off that throbbing pain. Dandelion. Dandelion tea is another interesting option. This one's thought to support your kidneys, which play a crucial role in filtering out uric acid from your system. While the science isn't super strong on this one, it's a common home remedy that some folks swear by. It's worth a shot, especially since it's easy to make and dandelion is pretty much everywhere. Apple cider vinegar. Now let's talk apple cider vinegar. This one's a bit of a wild card, but some people find relief by mixing a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in water and drinking it. The theory is that it helps alkalize your body, potentially lowering uric acid levels. There's not a ton of solid research on this yet, but apple cider vinegar has been used for centuries as a natural remedy for all sorts of issues, so it could be worth trying. Hibiscus tea. Hibiscus tea is another one to consider. This vibrant red tea has been noted for its potential to lower uric acid levels, and drinking a cup or two a day might help manage your gout symptoms. Plus, it's delicious and packed with antioxidants, so even if it doesn't help your gout, it's still a win for your overall health. Celery seeds. Lastly, celery seeds. These little guys have some serious anti-inflammatory properties. You can eat raw celery, add the seeds to your food, or take a celery seed extract supplement. Some people find that incorporating celery into their diet helps reduce the frequency and intensity of gout flare-ups. These natural remedies are a great complement to your standard treatment. But remember, they're not a replacement for your medications. Always check in with your doctor to make sure any new remedies fit into your treatment plan. But give a few of these a try. You might just find they give you that extra edge you've been looking for in managing your gout. Action Steps Alright, before we wrap things up, here are three simple action steps you can take right now to get relief from a gout flare-up. 1. Take your NSAIDs or Colchicine. Use over-the-counter NSAIDs like Ibuprofen or Naproxen or your prescribed Colchicine as soon as you feel the flare starting. 2. Ice and Elevate. Apply an ice pack to the swollen joint for 20 to 30 minutes and elevate it with pillows to reduce pain and swelling. 3. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water throughout the day. Aim for 8 to 16 cups to help flush out excess uric acid and avoid alcohol during a flare. These quick steps can help you get a handle on your pain and start feeling better fast.